Several of you are interested in publishing on Kindle, not being published on Kindle, but publishing a book on Kindle. So let me show you some of the steps that are involved here. This is going to be a, a multi number of videos here, but we're going to begin with, I'm going to open up a document that I have created. And I'm going to take this. It's got a cover on it. Notice it's got a cover. It's got some headers uh, and, and, um, so just keep that in mind as you take a look at the layout and the formatting of the book because it's going to be important, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is publish this. I'm going to publish it in a Mobi format, which is designed for Kindle. The first thing you'll notice is that we found elements with footer uh, to continue to remove them from your project. Do you want to continue? And the answer to that question is yes, this is essential. This is not a designer plan. This is essential for Kindle. And I'm going to show you how to get how, how to deal with that here in just a second. Okay. Now that has downloaded that file. I'm going to go over here to my KDP account, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing, and I'm going to open that up. And right here, in, once I've um, opened up my own personal account, right here it says get started with Kindle content creation tools. Click on that tab right there. And then you want to scroll down and find this Kindle previewer right here. Open up that drop down. And then if you're a, a Windows user or a Mac user, you download that version. That will reside on your hard drive. And you need to take a look at that because this is going to show you exactly what that book's going to look like inside of Kindle. Instead of guessing and saying, well, I really wish it had this, just make sure that you open up the previewer and get that, okay? So what I'm going to do now, this is I've already downloaded the previewer to my drive, and I have it available, so here it is. This is the Kindle previewer. I'm going to grab that file that I just had downloaded, and I'm looking for where to go just a second there it is that's the same file I just had downloaded in a Mobi version and this is what happens it goes through that file and it converts it to exactly what it's going to look like when it's on Kindle so you've got to give it some time uh, it'll open up that book and it'll show you now Everybody says, I want to have my table of contents. The table of contents is very important. Notice that Kindle always creates their own table of contents. Very important to understand that. So let's take a look to see what we have here. There's the cover. And here's the content. Okay. And it's formatting that content, included the image there. It's formatting that content the same way that it had been formatted inside of the book. And each one of these is a chapter title right here. It's taking my H tags and it's creating a table of contents from that. Very much the same that we do it inside of Designer. Okay. And you can scroll through and take a look at the book. Now you'll notice that it doesn't have that same call to action format that's on the bottom that you have at the end of the other um, PDF file that we had created. But that's not that's not designer's intent. That is the intent of of, um, of Kindle. So when you when you're working with Kindle, you've got to play within their rules. And this is how you discover what those rules are. Okay you use the Kindle Previewer. And that's what you have to do in order to make this work. All right? That's how you, um, that's first step in publishing on Kindle.